John Deftaris at the Global Exchange for you. Well, as we noted here in our conversation with Becky, uh, oil and gas are the key ingredients to Russia's economy. But there's a realization in Italy right now that it's art and culture that can have a big payday in the future, so much so that the Made in Italy brands are stepping in to help the government as well. That's the subject of this week's One Square Meter. It's one of a handful of global landmarks that simply needs no introduction. Via a tunnel once used by gladiators, I take in a ground level view of this iconic symbol of Imperial Rome. From the city hall with a breathtaking vantage point of it all, the mayor of Rome admits Italy can no longer manage its vast historic portfolio alone. These uh to me, belongs to the entire uh, mankind. And I believe that the entire mankind has a responsibility and we have to share projects, uh, ideas, but we have the responsibility to maintain these uh, for the generation to come. The Colosseum, for example, brings in nearly $50 million each year, according to site manager Rosella Rea. But she told me most of it goes to pay for less visited treasures. As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. The Colosseum dates back to the first century. But the real problem started just five years ago during the global financial crisis. Last year alone, the city of Rome ran a deficit of over a billion dollars, needing a federal decree to bail it out. And there are never-ending calls for money. On this spring day, junior doctors were seeking a pay hike. But there's a widespread realization Italy needs to bundle its history with what the world sees as the Italian lifestyle. The first to step in are the so-called Made in Italy brands. Diego De La Valle is owner of the high-end shoemaker, Todd's. What we need to do in front of us in this case, one of the most important things, I think, I think is, the, is the tourist project. If you want, we call the Made in Italy project. DDV, as he is known, is spending $34 million on a five-year scrubbing of the travertine marble front of the Colosseum. Bulgari is putting $2 million into the Spanish steps, and fashion house Fendi has pointed up nearly $3 million into the equally famous Trevi Fountain. Rome's mayor even ventured to Saudi Arabia, seeking patrons from the energy-rich state. It's a call to action that the founders of this once mighty empire would have never considered making. John Defterius, CNN, Rome. One square meter, in association with Emma. Inspiring lifestyle today. Energy Bank Garner is one of the first.